at that point. I absolutely loved Fats Domino, for example. Uh, one of the things I really loved about him was the way he pronounced things and could rhyme things. You know, he rhymes the word man with the, with the word ashamed, for example, in one of his songs. Yeah. There was something particularly rock and roll, something particularly young and modern about the way that these people messed about with the English language in their pronunciation and in their rhyming. It's something that the older records didn't do, you know. Before rock and roll, vocalists were supposed to sing as clearly as possible and to enunciate precisely, you know, and that's one of the things that makes most of them sound laughable now because it's so formal. It's so, you know, pull your finger out and get real, you know. As Dylan shows more than anyone, it, it takes a tool out of the communication arsenal. It makes it neutral all the time. Yeah. It does take a tool out of the arsenal. And uh, and it's one of the it's one of the tools that Bob Dylan has uh, pioneered more than anyone. 